Hey, it's Tyler Miller with the Tyler Miller team at eXp Realty. And one question we get a ton this time of the year is, should I sell my house now in the winter, in the spring, or should I wait until the summer? And me and my team, we've been talking about this topic at length over the past couple of weeks. And we have come up with four things that you need to consider when thinking about selling your house now or in the summer. So do you actually know when the spring housing market starts in Minnesota? I think a lot of people assume the spring means when it's nice and green outside, when their yards are starting to look good, maybe in that April, May timeframe. Well, actually, the spring housing market starts right after the Super Bowl in most cases when it comes to Minnesota. So when making your decision of do I sell in the spring or sell in the summer, it's, it's really important to understand that when you're saying I want to sell in the spring, you're talking about February and March. Another point to consider is what actually happens in the summertime in Minnesota. So pretend you're a buyer, you got a few kids and June hits. What do you got on your mind? Is it looking at houses or is it maybe escaping um, from your daily grind and getting up to the cabin or going out of town or going on a summer vacation? So what tends to happen in the summertime is a lot of buyers end up taking their eyes off of their home search and they head out of town. They're spending time with their family, celebrating the 4th of July. And then another thing to consider is that sellers, the easiest time for them to put their house on the market is when they're up at their cabin and they're not at home to deal with all the showings. So not only are you dealing with less buyers come summertime, but you're also dealing with more homes hitting the market because it's the easiest time for a seller to put their house on the market. Another point to consider is that there is traditionally lower inventory in the spring months, again, in February and March. There's a couple reasons for that, but the main one is, again, most people assume, hey, I want to wait till my yard is looking pretty and put my house on the market come summertime. So you're going to have less competition if you list your home in the earlier spring months. And then there's actually more buyers looking at properties come February and March because a lot of buyers that are renting, their leases tend to expire in the summertime. And so in order for them to find a new home before their lease expires, they need to start looking for houses in January, February, and March. So you're going to have less competition as a seller, and there's going to be more eyes on your property for that reason. And there's actually more buyers in the market because they need to find a place to move to rather than renewing their lease. Finally, a point to consider would be interest rates. So currently interest rates have stabilized to the point where it's fair to say that if you put your home on the market here in the next few months, that the homes are going to be a little bit more affordable than they were in the past six to eight months. If you wait till the summer, you risk the interest rates potentially rising due to some volatility, due to the fact that we're approaching an election year. We just don't know where the market's going to be come summer, where if you need to sell and you want to capitalize on the current market conditions, we pretty much know what it's going to be like come February and March, and we're unsure what's going to happen in the summer. All right, so you've heard the four things that I feel you need to consider when deciding to sell either in the spring or the summer. If you're somebody that feels you want to maximize your equity, capitalize on the current market conditions, and sell this year, particularly in the spring, you need to reach out to me and my team. Click the link and we can set up a time to talk. My team and I would love to understand your situation better and come up with a custom game plan just for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time and reach out soon.